You know what time it is, Jordan? Pressure washing time. It's time to get that motor nice and clean. And then we're going to spray some spray paint on it, get it red, white, and blue. Getting it looking all pretty for that car over there. So we're going to take the pressure washer, we're going to wash it off real quick, and then we'll be right back. Right, guys we got her all nice and cleaned up with the uh, pressure washer it's about as clean as we're planning on getting it at least for now we're probably gonna take the heads and maybe have them cleaned if we don't decide to do it ourselves but for now it's about as clean as we're gonna get it and we're gonna run it back up in the garage real quick and we're gonna start disassembling it we just got the engine put up or uh, brought back in here we're gonna take the heads off real quick and see how it looks hopefully not too bad for anybody that was wondering, yes, we did already have the rocker arms off, so we do not have any valves that are open, so there's no water in anything. Hopefully. If there's water in the uh, cylinders, then we got a problem. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So I'm going to put you on the tripod, and we're going to start taking you apart, and we're going to see how it looks. Giggity. Or we're going to take the motor apart. We're not going to take you apart. That's not a... That doesn't sound very good for YouTube. Oh shit, there's a loose bolt. Is it? <laughs> Before I even start, you already got Oh my gosh! Bolt. <laughs> How many other ones are loose? Hmm. Okay. Well, on that note, we're gonna go ahead and remove this valve cover so we can take this head off. <laughs> and hope that the rest of the bolts are loose. Um. At least the valve cover's nice and clean. Now it's kind of nasty. There's water in there. There is water in there. Nice. That's okay. We're about to take it off anyway, so. It'll all get clean. Yeah. Well, we're real close to seeing how bad the uh, cylinder walls look. Or how good. How good they look. <laughs> what shape they're in. Yeah, let's just put it that way. You ready? Yep. Um, Just grab it from, yep. Yep. Ugh. Other than that, we look good. A little bit of surface rust. These were gunked up, holy frick. All this rust. This yeah. thing must have had a cooling issue. Yeah. Holy frick, that thing must have had a cooling Sam, issue. We might have, uh, check the head gasket. Oh, I was gonna say, take a look at the head gasket. See head gasket? I mean. It looks good, like, uh, in terms of okay, sealing. Let's Here, let's go dump the water out of it outside. And then we'll give them a close-up of what the uh, cylinder walls look like, and we'll clean that rust out of it. Well, this is what we have. Other than a little bit of water in that one and maybe some surface rust, it don't, it's not... I don't know, that surface rust is kind of deep, actually. It, feels just, it honestly just feels like surface rust. It doesn't feel any worse than that. The rest of the cylinders, at least that I can tell, look all right. Now I'm the expert. Maybe can, even some original cross hatching there. We can get something to clean that up too, right? Like, ain't there like a tool for that or something? Or we can get one of them ball honers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how this looks now. If we had to, you know, which that's kind of nasty. <laughs> Honestly, I'm tempted just to, dude. Look, most of that just come off. Well. Break clean. I'm really tempted just to uh, spin the engine over and try and clean off of that, most of that off with the rings. Mm -hmm. So far, so far, we're not looking too bad. 
from what I can tell, it looks like everything's still good. We'll, um, I'll pull these off here in a minute and we'll look at the lifters and then we'll slide the cam out here in a minute and see how it looks. But so far these cylinders on the uh, driver's side look all right. So we're gonna pull the cylinder head off on the uh, passenger side and we'll get a good look at it and see how it looks. And we'll go from there. Well, I'm not sure how much of that y'all seen, but we got the head off. We got some more rust on one of the cylinders. Hopefully it's just something we can take the, uh, if we can't just turn the engine over and let the rings take care of it, then hopefully it's something we can take care of with the ball horn and just really quickly pull it out. And if it's not, then it's not our worst idea to uh, take it to a machine shop and have them board out. We'll have us a nice uh, board out big cam uh, engine. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over a couple times, see what happens. That was the main cylinder that I was worried about. You can definitely hear it. Yeah, just give her a couple of spins. <laughs> we'll just start it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, just keep on going with it a couple more times. We'll make sure we get the cylinders decently clear of rust. I mean, it, it's pushing shit out for sure. Oh, yeah, it is. It sounds smoother. Does it spin over smooth? Oh, yeah, it's getting smoother. Yeah, it's easy spin. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna throw the camera back on the tripod and then we're gonna take and clean them one at a time. Okay. I can feel it, but it, I feel like it's gonna be alright. I feel like it might be alright. We're gonna run it anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're still gonna send we're it. We're golden. Now this was the other problem child. Hmm. So spin it back over and we'll see how this cylinder looks. Right there. I feel it but we're gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. We're just gonna send that. We're still gonna send it. <laughs> We're going to show you the other side real quick. So that cylinder is looking a little bit better. I'm going to clean the rust back off of it again. You can see it and you can slightly feel it. But honestly, I'm just going to send it and so is Jordan. Oh yeah. You can see the pitting right there. Shine your light on it for us, Jordan. Okay. We'll get a good look at it. You can definitely see it. Yeah. But we're just going to send it. <laughs> and here's the other problem child cylinder about the same honestly that you can tell if they both had water sitting in them but we're just gonna send it the other cylinders honestly look good we really should have before we took the uh, rockers off we should have done a compression te test on all of them see how they all fared and that probably would have knocked a lot of that rust out to begin with but you live and you learn Whenever we blow this engine up, we'll just get one from Texas Speed, our soon-to-be sponsor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Oh, that one's already loose. You want to know how strong I am? How strong? I don't need an impact to take this ball off. Just... <clears throat> nope, hold on. Hold oh. On. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah, you've already taken it off. No. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Bet you wish you could take them off like that. I bet I wish these bugs would get out of my face. <laughs> I just want to be your friend. <laughs> Power tools. Take these off oh. while you're at it. <laughs> take those off too? Yeah, that's good. Get them back? Yeah. Stay back in there. We get to use my favorite tool from Autos on this. This thing's sealed on here. <laughs> Hit it with hammer. Very good. Hit it with the cam. Where's the I cam? I like your thinking, dude. Where's the cam? Hell yeah. We're going to show you real quick how we break a valley cover loose when it's stuck on there using a cam. 
See, we don't we don't use hammers around here. We use cameras, all right. <laughs> so you know, you just give her a couple little taps. Give her a couple love taps. A couple little taps here. Get this side too, you know. Make sure it's all even. Now, just give her a good whack from the front. And then a good whack from the front, just like that. <laughs> we'll just, there we go. Now. That's how you get a valley cover loose. My calculations are correct. It was not correct. But, <laughs> you know, this thing ought to come loose. <laughs> it lifted up on this side, didn't it? It did lift up on this side. There you go. Just keep prying. See, we really need a pry bar. You know what we're really Frick. up on, Jordan? <laughs> What's that? We kind of forgot to take these things out. Guess what? That's kind of our problem right now. That is our problem. Rip these off. Just rip them out. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Pull it from the rubber because I don't know if we're using these or not. We might need a screwdriver. Is it coming out? Okay, there you go. This one may need a screwdriver. Nope. Just good enough. It fit. Heck okay, yeah. Okay, let's see if the cover comes loose. Still no. <laughs> it's still not loose. All, All the right. bolts are loose. <laughs> We're going to put you back on the trap part so we can figure this out and use our whole two brain cells. Maybe this one wasn't loose. Well, either way. There you go. There we go. We just had to use our brain cells, the whole two that we have. So far, this is what we got. We can definitely tell that it's been remanned just because there's markings on uh, most of the caps. You can see the marking right there. I'm not sure if, I guess it's just a line just to help them line it up, or I, I don't know, because you don't really line caps up. So I don't, I don't know what they were going for with all these lines, but there's lines on all the caps. And so far, that's about the only indication that I can, that I'm aware of that lets me know that it was a reman motor from whatever xj something was i don't remember what the markings were now oh shoot i don't remember exactly but off the top of my head either way we're about to uh take that off so we can take the cam out and then we can take the lifters out and then we'll be done disassembling for tonight Okay, nope, that's pretty bad. Oh, really? Yeah, look at it right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, we're going to hand order some and replace those then. They say not to look at the cam bearings when you're replacing the cam, but I don't want to follow by that. I kind of want to have a somewhat reliable engine. I'm using that term loosely because just because we're replacing bearings doesn't mean it's going to be reliable. It's worked out for me in the past, so we're going to hope it works out for us this time. Well, we're going to knock out the uh, lifters real quick, and that'll probably be the end of this part, and we'll probably see you again tomorrow. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that is a bent rod. Mm -hmm. That is what you do not want. So, it looks like we're doing more than just putting a cam and everything in. It looks like we're probably doing a full rebuild. I guess that means we get to go with Gen 4 rods. Yeah. Which is what everybody says is the good rods to go with. We'll be, uh, I guess we'll be good. I don't know if we're going to get a whole set of rods or if we're just going to get one. I don't know. I guess if we're going to go balls deep, we might as well go I balls guess deep. Might as well, yeah. <laughs>